and welcome back to my channel today i am going to do a top 10 baby must-haves before we get started guys please give me a thumbs up if you aren't a subscriber to my channel please subscribe now and we will get started these items are going to be from when he was a newborn to now so things that we are grabbing constantly every single day these are the things that work best for us not every single baby is the same so i'm sure you'll bear that in mind but these are the things that really edward and i absolutely love and couldn't really live without so we're going to get started with sorry excuse me i've got notes here i'm going to start off with feeding so with feeding he, when he was a newborn he had really bad colic we tried lots of different types of bottles that i thought would work best for him we tried the nuck nuk bottles they didn't work very well for him. Uh, we tried MAM, MAM, didn't work very well for him either. The top bottles I would recommend to any, any baby that has colic is the amazing Dr. Brown's. The only thing about these bottles is they are slightly trickier when it comes to cleaning them, but if it's gonna work best for your baby, colic wise, it's gonna sort their tummies right out. You would wash a million items if it makes your baby feel a little bit better. So these work amazing for him. I don't have any teats in there at the minute because they've been steril um, sterilised. But how they work is they have a valve here. I don't know if you can see. It limits the amount of air they take in, I believe. Don't really know how it works, but it works amazingly well. And couldn't live without them. Generally couldn't. When I say the different parts need to be washed, so you have... The funnel here, it comes with a little brush that you wedge down here to get rid of all the clogged milk. Um, but they just clip back on, very simple, really, really easy. And they work amazing for him. They come in different sizes. They come, I think, I think it's top is six six ounces they come in. They're, that's the first size and these are obviously nine. I think these are the biggest they come in. Couldn't live without these. Really, really good. baby. If your baby struggles with colic, I would definitely recommend these 100%. Next thing when it comes to feeding is if you're feeding and you're out and about, obviously this is if you're bottle feeding, this is a milk holder dispenser thing. Um, basically how this works is you have your sections here where you put your milk, excuse it, it does need a wash, we've just used it from when we've been out today, but you have three sections and you put how many ounces of milk you need in here. And you have a little lid here, lifts up, and you angle it to the section of where the milk is, and you just tip it into your bottle. So it's very simple. Rather than just keeping the ounces already in the bottle, sometimes it can get a bit congealed, especially with the Dr. Brown bottles. If the bottle falls over in your bag, the milk it gets all stuck up in the top there, and the baby's not getting the full amount of feed. This, it holds everything, it's not it doesn't get damp or anything, it's, the, the suction is very tight on it, easy to clean as well, so you just pop it in and it's done and you're ready to go, you're ready to feed your baby if you're out and about. The next thing is a bit obvious, uh, most mums I believe do have this, but this is a thing I could not live without and I could not miss out on this video. It is the Milton sterilising fluid, whoa, nearly dropped it on the floor, <laughs> this is fab, I absolutely love it, um, so if you're out and about, it's amazing to have in your bag if you're going out to a friend's house, your baby drops his dummy or you've run out of bottles and you think I don't have any more sterile bottles with me. What you do is you put the fluid inside the cap and that's how much you use. You put it into a jug with boiling hot water so you've then got sterile water. And then you put in your bottle or you put in your dummy or whatever you need sterilising. Leave it in there for 50 minutes to 15 minutes you don't need to rinse it either it's absolutely fine for the baby to have straight away after being sterile and then you're, you're good to go okay so next we're going to do playtime because he's still young he's not quite playing as such um he's starting to look more nowadays he's grabbing more things he's engaging in things and everything but the things that we are generally using at the moment the top thing i could not live without playtime wise is his swing of the swing is called ingenuity, I could be saying that wrong, 
Um, but it is the Mother Care brand. They vibrate, they play music, different types, they play white noise, different tunes, like wave sounds, and it swings on its own. I think it has four or five different level settings, so you can have it just, just rocking slowly or you can have it proper swinging. Edward loves it, he's in it most days. It's, it seems to be the only thing that really likes, he really likes and it does settle in very easily. I've heard some babies don't like the swing, I've seen other videos from other mums of their top baby buyers and people have said that they wish they didn't buy a swing. Um, different story with us, we absolutely love it and could not live without our swing, definitely not. The next thing is his play mat. Again, this is Mother Care. The only thing about this play mat is it is lovely and comfy and it looks gorgeous. I do wish I bought a different type of, the, of play mat. I wish I bought something more colourful. That's the only thing with this play mat. It seems to be quite neutral colours. Um, when we go out to baby classes, I pop him under a different types of play mats and they, gen they generally are a bit more bright and colourful than ours and he seems to be a bit more engaged in it. I don't know whether it's because it's not his own and it's, it's new to him but he seems to be drawn to lots of lovely colours so I wish I did buy a brightly coloured one um, but again it is a great buy and he does love it. He only likes to be on it for a short period of time so if he's at his point where he's wide awake and he doesn't really want to rest and he wants to do things. We do a bit of tubby time on it, we pop him underneath it, he has a little play around. I do dangle my own toys on it, which is great because it has a little bit of Velcro tab on top. So you can add your own toys onto it too, which makes it its own colourful in its own way. We do um, put a bit of tin foil on it as well, shiny, pretty, crinkly. Babies love to being drawn to sort of shiny things. So we do stick tin foil on it as well. The next thing with playtime is obviously toys um, again because he's young not really playing much but I've got a couple of toys here these are the things that he does hold now he does and he just inspects them really close to his face and he does play around with them a little bit and these are some of these toys we hang on the play mat like I said um, the top one that I do recommend is this one this is a tummy time one so you just pop them on the middle here and they can grab lots of different toys and it all makes different sounds and it's lovely and soft as well so it's not digging into them or anything like that. This is from Baby Einstein, oh there you go, <laughs> so it's very 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 cool, it has a little teething leaf here as well, very colourful and he does love this as well. Again, short periods of time as well, but when he gets a, when he gets much stronger, he will be loving this. Next toys, again, these are just ba your, your basic baby fire toys. I love this. This is a new one I got at the baby event in the Excel baby event show. Uh, I have a vlog on that, so check that out if you have not seen it. This is a lifesaver as well. We click this on to his car seat so he can play with it when he's in the car. Again on the play mat it hangs and he kicks it with his feet. This is a little teething leaf which he loves grabbing. Little rings here which make noise as, as they touch. Uh, teething collar bib thing on the elephant. Crinkly ears, little mirror on it and it makes like a rasping sound really interesting for him to have a look at and it's lovely and colourful so he loves playing with this um, when we're in the car we just hear him just making that, that sound like when I'm driving I just hear him just crinkling away so he loves this again another toy that he loves rattling all different colours on the octopus arms this orange one is a crinkly one all the others are soft and have little rattle balls inside. This one's got a little mirror on it. Again, this is from Little Tykes. There you go. Love playing with this one. Next is just a little elephant. He loves it. It's all colourful and bright and it makes a little tune. I won't play it because it goes on forever. Um, again, Little Tykes as well. And he loves this too. Just a little rattle because when they're young they like grabbing things and you put their little hands around it and he just inspects it. It's really, really cute. This is Newbie. 
Uh, there you go. And uh, it has little teething bits at the bottom as well. When he actually gets the hang of grabbing things and putting it in his mouth, this will definitely be a plus. This one is a new one that I bought from Mother Care. This one I clicked onto either side of his pram so you can play with it. It's something fun for him. I have the Vinici pram, so I use the carry cot now because it's a little bit older for the car seat version. Again, if you haven't seen my review on the Vinici pram, check that out too. The carry cot one seat that he's currently using, the bar is quite high so he can't really reach things. So we leave this further down so he can play with it. This is just your average pram toy it has clicks on either side it has a little mirror in the middle i think it's like a sheep thing here and a cow there we do use this in the car as well when i strap him in into the car seat because the seat belt goes over him i click it on the car seat it's um on the car seat i click it on the seat belt so he can play with it when he's in the car too so it's really easy it clicks onto most things Again, really, really handy to have for playtime. This doesn't really come under playtime, but it's something for him to look at and for him to be fascinated by. I'd recommend the Chico Nightlight. It clicks onto the edge of your cot and it projects stars on the ceiling and it changes colour and it plays tunes. I play it when I put Edward down for bed. Sometimes when after I fed him, I put him into his cot, he then wakes up because he's then leaving my body heat and he's going into his cool bed. He then wakes up and he's all alert. So I've just popped the light, night light on for him and he's checking it out, looking around. It's very, very, very mellow. So it just sends them off into a lovely sleep. It plays like a really lovely, relaxing lullaby tune. And I would definitely recommend this. It sets him off to sleep every single time we play it. It, it, it just looks so pretty as well at night time. It's gorgeous. The next thing is a jumper roo. He generally does love it. He looks around and plays with all the toys on it and stuff. It does play music. Lots of lovely colours for him to look at again too. This will definitely be a my top baby buyer when he comes to let's say six months he'll be in that a lot of the time but right now we don't pop him in it too often because I don't want to freak him out or bore him with it straight away when he's not even really old enough to really use it so we do introduce it slowly and he likes it for a short period of time but because he gets a little bit tired now holding his head up for too long we do have to take him out quite early on I say he's in there for 10 minutes max we have to get him out but that will definitely be a really good buyer once they get much older next section is going to be just miscellaneous items I would really recommend getting a decent travel system like I said before I have done a review on my buggy the Vinci Pram 3-in-1 travel system definitely check it out if you haven't seen it I would recommend that all day long it is just one payment one buy and you have everything in one you have your car seat your push chair unit you have your carry cot you've got everything in one you don't have to go around shopping looking for certain items it works does usually work out more expensive that way if you buy it all in one you've got it all there it all matches and it looks gorgeous together definitely recommend getting a good travel system the next thing i can't live without is my boppy pillow oh hang on so i bought this in mother care when I was pregnant because I saw a girl do a review on her bob pillow and said it was the best thing ever so I definitely gave this a go. I did plan on breastfeeding but like I said in my labour and delivery story vlog I was unable to breastfeed but this is a good nursing pillow if you are choosing to breastfeed and if you are breastfeeding really good for nursing. You just pop your baby in it and you get the baby to latch onto you. Again, great for bottle feeding too. I use this every single day. Pop this across my lap like this. And I put Edward in it and I just feed him like this. Sounds really, really bad, but you do have a hand free. That means you can change the TV over. You can ring, you can ring your mum. You can ring whoever you want to speak to. You can drink your tea. You can do things more. It has got a little zip at the back so you can take this off if you get any sick or milk on it and you can wash it 
I would really recommend it as well. It's brilliant for tummy time too. I love sleeping on it as well. <laughs> it just completely spaces out on this. Put a little blanket on it so it's lovely and warm and just snug. And you just leave him on like that in there too. I've used it since he was a newborn and it's brilliant. Really recommend getting a boppy pillow. This next item I didn't know about until a friend mentioned it to me. I went and bought a flathead pillow. This is, it was £10 on Amazon. They come in different types, so I think they range, you can get them a bit more pricey if you want to spend a little bit more money. But this one just seemed to do the trick. It's memory foam, lovely and soft. You can't wash it, it's the only thing. Um, but obviously how it works is you pop babies back of the heads of the crown, goes into the middle here and it keeps them upright, stops them from preferring one side, Edward preferred his left side and I did notice he was getting a little bit flat towards here so that's why I then bought this and I've noticed it hasn't got any worse and it does seem to be improving so I definitely recommend getting a flat head pillow, again bought this on Amazon, only £10, what's £10 when you can sort your baby getting a flat head? Definitely really, really worth getting one of these. Next miscellaneous item I would really, really, really recommend um, is a towel. Towel is genius, really is. Okay, it is quite big. Ooh, it's got a hood here. Right, so what you do is, it has a little vesty bit here. It's got poppers. So you pop it around your neck like this. Right, so it comes all the way down, and then there's the hood here. So you're bathing your baby, you have this already on, so you're ready to go. So once you've finished washing your baby, you're all ready. Take baby out, put baby straight on your chest, so you prevent yourself from getting wet, hence the towel. Baby goes onto your chest, you then put the hood straight over baby's head so it stops him getting cold and then you are cradling baby like this and when you lay baby down you just unclick this then you put it over the baby so he doesn't get cold and then you start drying them off this i could not live without really really good let me see where it's from this is from clever mama i will leave a link of what it is called down below properly because the spelling is a bit odd Again, really good buy. Bathing, again, could not live without this. I've used it since day one. I personally went for the Angel Care bath seat. Again, Mother Care. I think it was 15 to 20 pounds, I think. I've, I love it, could not live without it. It has a max line here. So that's where you put your water up to. And because there's holes in the silicone section here, the water comes through. So there's like a little puddle here when you put your baby in. Obviously, don't leave your baby unattended in the bathtub. Just because they're in this doesn't necessarily mean they're completely safe. Accidents happen, as you're well aware. So this, again, has got a silicone base. So it's got a good grip on it. So babies aren't going to slip all the way through. Definitely worth buying. I absolutely loved it. And it makes bathing your baby so much easier. Pop baby inside, you can then use both hands and wash your baby thoroughly and properly, get into the nooks and crannies. Definitely worth buying. This item is a bit silly. A little tub like this. Again, it, like I said, it's a silly thing, but this I couldn't live without. I know my, I know my dummies are clean const like continuously. It's completely airtight, so no germs are getting into this. It was, it was a pound, I think, and you're in like Poundland or your pound stretcher shop. You can't go wrong with a pound and it's going to keep your dummies clean. So you just sterilise your dummy and these dummies are in here and they stay clean. They are always, always clean and you can't go wrong with it. I literally leave it just by sterilizer and all of his set downstairs. I know where they are. You're not running around trying to find your dummies. Every time I find a dummy, I sterilize it, put it back into this jar, and it's ready to go. So that's my top 10 items. You may think some of these items are a bit silly, but I'm just being realistic. These are things that are working for us. I really hope you enjoyed my video. Thank you so much for watching again, guys. And I will see you all again at my next video. Bye.